Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Barkow. Welcome back to season 3 of The Nation SMP. Okay guys, welcome back to episode 1. Or maybe I shouldn't say welcome back, but welcome to episode 1. Right now, I placed a webcam right there. Not there, not there, but right there. So you see me from another angle. And uh, this is our current map right now. Um, no, I don't want to start broadcasting. In fact, I'm doing right now. I'm doing broadcasting right now, but it's just not live. Anyway, so this is our map. Let, let me give you a quick overview of what we have here. It kind of reminds me of the season two spawn and uh, look what we have. So we spawn in this forest. I think this was a forest as well. And we can check. Yeah, this is definitely a forest. We got some swamp over there and an ocean out there. People have been building their houses. One is there, one is there. And another one should be somewhere in the distance, maybe back there and also some back there and um, this is like our spawn community plot we want to make everything more community friendly since what's the sense of a server or like do you say the sense of a server what's the reason to make a server that uh, yeah there's no interaction on whatever you get what I'm saying so we have a nice little cow farm right there with a very um, nice cows that give you a lot of beef <laughs> we got an enchanting station down here full enchantment and we got our nicely uh, 3d made bookshelves here that's because of the 3d resource pack I have I don't know what they're typing in chat right now I'm on with these guys some new people and I also saw a comment oh Mel just joined well hey man She's not a man really, but you know, <laughs> um, I saw a comment of one person saying that we don't accept any new people and that they don't write anything in their bio on the nation website. Well, that is because maybe older members don't really like want to type anything into their bio since they're already a member, but people that want to get onto the server where constantly accepting new people like at least maybe one a week or something or maybe one per two weeks but that's like a rare case we always accept new people and uh, then you can't say that we don't accept any people at all so yeah we got that problem out of the world right now I think we got a chicken egg station right here where there's all sorts of eggs and I'm picking all of them up when I walk around there and try to get into the beds here and that's a little bit of a problem that uh, this chest is already filled up because there were so many chicken in there I already killed a bunch to increase FPS once again uh, so sorry to whoever built this farm but you know I can't stand having lag at spawn already. Uh, if we head on up here, we get a nice view of that area right there. Nice little island. And we got tons of sugar cane. Mm. Maybe someone likes sugar or cake or whatever. And here we got some nice community chests from which everyone can take. Like uh, plants are in here and swords are in there. Basically mob drops, but that'll help you out in the beginning. And let's see here, I haven't read that. Welcome to Cam's community town where we help you with getting on the server. There's plenty of food and other items you can take. Please do not take as much as you want, only take what you need. Please keep chests organized, thank you Camzo Islands. That is really nice of him to do this uh, community spirit thing. And my, my budgies are fighting right now, so I'm sorry. If you can hear them, probably you can, but oh well, what can you do? This is the donkey and this is my base or sort of like, not my base, don't get worried. This is my um, spawn building and you know, it looks horrible. I just used the materials that came to me 
as soon as possible. Like I was uh, walking around, saw granite, took it. Then I saw some birch trees, which are not that hard to find in this area, took it and made this. So today in season three, I'm going to be showing you how you can transform a pretty ugly place into something that looks a lot better with only a few easy steps. So mm, you can see a pattern in this. And since, uh, since this is not a real house, I want to keep it a little bit like a temple. It's got to be ruined because ruined temples just look better than normal temples. So let's take some polished granite and some more fence if I have any. Yeah, there we go. And what we'll do to improve it a little bit already, we're just gonna go around and make these random pads sticking up. Maybe one there, maybe one here, maybe one there, maybe two here again. So we have a little bit of variety in the height of these walls. Uh, let's do one of those and maybe one of those back there. So that already looks a little bit better because it looks more messy and you want things to get messy in a ruined town or in a ruined temple. Not too messy but also not too tidy because no one has been there obviously. And then we're just gonna put some random fences sticking up here and there and uh, supporting all of this so it looks like it collapsed sometime. Maybe we can put two here even one there and the thing that we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go up one two one two see what I did there yep this already looks a little bit better but we can improve it even more let's take some of our iron reserves uh, let's take a shear and we're gonna leave this tree here because it grew while the temple was abandoned and I want to leave it there. I kind of want to keep spawn more natural and stuff and I'm not looking at the chat right now because that would probably confuse me even further. I am... <laughs> okay, uh, I looked at there once again. I'm quiet. Well, that's because I'm recording. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Mm get some leaves to make this place look even worse or even better I should say not worse well kind of worse whatever let's remove this wood as well because we want to have things clean also a, a goal that I set for this season is just to make things that are practical I also did that in season 2 but also focus on the building side of things to make everything look a little bit better and not only show the practical side and I'm gonna do my best at uh, trying to make these things and what we're doing right now is just surrounding this with some leaves so it looks already a lot better let's uh, get those all around and look doesn't look too bad. Let me drink something real quick. Mm. Delicious. If you have a dry throat, it's not good. Oh, some people left. Didn't see that. Um, let's get some of those bushes up just a little bit. Don't do, don't do too much. Uh, maybe some here, some there, some more there. Maybe this goes up a little bit more because this is the backside of the building and stuff at the back can be grown over and this is basically just to um, resemble a few hedges that have grown. I don't like the look of that that's kind of too spiky so we're gonna leave it at that and maybe put one there. Yeah I like that a little better but still there's something missing right? So let's go ahead and grab some of those rose bushes and place them right there. You may be thinking that doesn't fit to a place at all, but it adds some nice contrast. The green fits with the leaves and the red sort of fits in with the granite. So what we can do to support these rose bushes, because uh, yeah, to make things a little bit more realistic, those rose bushes are also old. We are going to make some supports for those flowers. So let's go and head over and see if there is some smooth stone in the chest here. Because we need to make some smooth stone slabs. Yep, there's some. Perfect. One, two, three. That should be all, uh, good enough already. 
Uh, let's remember how to make armor stands. No, that wasn't the way. I think it was maybe this way. Oh, no. Dominic says that he should do stone slabs, but doesn't do them. Uh, let's see. Maybe like that. Hmm. So confusing to make them. Probably everyone's yelling at me right now. Hey, Nick, do it like that. Uh, but I can't hear you, sadly. I would love some of your tips. Well, that looks dumb. Maybe some here as well. There we go. Okay, that's how you make one armor stand. We want to make more, but we don't have enough sticks for it. So let's try the same procedure one more time with more sticks. Oh man, this is gonna be a crafty episode. I can already feel it. Okay, two should be good enough for now. And now what we'll do is um, put these armor stands inside of the rose bushes and they look like wood supporting them. So look at that. Uh, that looks a little bit bad. We might need to face this another way. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Maybe this way. That'll be nice and put one here that's not too bad let me drink something once again mm. it would look better if the rose was kind of forwarded to this place but that is happening with this one so this is probably the best way it can be done but it just grows on this uh, it just <laughs> It just grows stronger on this side because the light is right there and it didn't really grow on this side. It's retarded. <laughs> As you know, roses can be retarded. <laughs> uh, let's kill this guy here. I don't have any good gear. I don't have armor. I basically have nothing. I started out yesterday and um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the nation of uh, with how it's turning out. There's a lot of activity on here and people are joining and leaving and joining and leaving and I just like the feeling of having more people around me and not just me alone. But we'll see how it develops. Um, hmm, I don't know if I like this so much. So let's put some more here and just experiment. Let's put another fence here as well to make a little bit of a difference. And yep, I like that better already. So now the last thing that we would need to do is add a um, a uh, area to there, like a walkway. Because people have been doing this walkway here. Let's read this. Please keep spawn clean. That's my motto as well. Spawn has no plots. See, we can build wherever we want and that is what I like. So don't be messy and keep the server feel and be nice to everyone. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna extend this walkway. I don't know if I really want to do it out of andesite and cobblestone and polished andesite. That's just too much. I'm probably gonna stick with gravel and maybe a little bit of cobble and andesite mixed in there. I don't like the polished andesite in the walkway. But what we can try as well to spice this up a little bit. I already like uh, the look of it. Um, we could just grab some more granite. And then put it in here as well. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna do it all around and then I'll be right back. So while I was working on this here, I noticed that I didn't even tell you what Counterpunch TV wrote on the topic of season 3. So I think I'm gonna read it out to you. But first, um, I just want to point things out. Uh... I don't know really if the granite looks too good in combination with the polished granite. I think I'm gonna remove it once again because that kind of takes away from the structure because this really looks a little bit rough while this is really smooth and all. It's not that smooth but still that's kind of too harsh I think. Either you build it completely out of polished or completely out of normal granite and I think I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna try to read the message so he wrote a couple of things like keep a community spirit and try to be kind and helpful to all fellow players. There's basically no additional rules from last season 
and the roof of the nether is meant is not meant for practical use you cannot build private devices on the roof public attractions would be a case by case situation um i think that has to do with the server lag that he wants to uh decrease lag as good as possible and i think the big no it didn't break just fine we still got one block there so let's craft one again uh yeah like if you build something on the roof of the nether that raises lc values i have never known what that was i have just heard that it raises them they should be somewhere around here maybe mm, i don't know where they are actually chunk huh but basically uh that's like the chunk has to generate in certain slots or spots and if uh, you raise this LC values, it has to um, check more chunks and so it gets laggier. At least that's how I understand it, so we're not doing that. And um, let's see, the dragon fight is to be a server event. Please don't attempt to kill it before an organized event can happen. I think that is pretty obvious, but maybe some people think they can kill him alone. But I don't want that to happen. I want to do something with the dragon as well. Spawn cannot be private, uh, privatized by any player and is free to build on. That's what I like. I'm loving this because it kind of gives some cool corners. And I think that looks pretty nice when you look at it from the front. It blends in nicely with the nature here. I might even be going up a little bit further with those uh, polished granite blocks so they uh, stick out a little bit more but other than that I'm pretty happy with it only thing that is really missing right now is another thing or another detail that I'm gonna get to in just a moment as well but first let's read the last thing on the list the gimmick this season is towns and personas build your own town and an attempt to have the better one of the bunch and get the most players to build in your area. So that is pretty interesting, the concept of this. So let's say um, Doc built a town. You know who Doc is, Dr. Nintendo. And then I would build my house in his and he does like all sorts of advertisement for it. Come to my town, I offer this and that. And yeah, just build in it. Maybe some other people. Yeah, I think so. We'll also build some towns. Maybe I'll make my town as well and invite people over to mine. And basically, you can build in every town you want. You can also have like your own area, of course. But towns would be quite fun to have other people as well. And that is pretty much it. Um, let's get to the detail of this building. And then I can, I guess we can call it a first episode. So let's get down here back in the area and we've got this big tree here and that got me thinking there's something missing here as well we also want another one of these trees back here if that zombie bird would let me nighttime is probably not the best time to do it but i'm gonna do it anyways uh spider incoming okay let's see if we are good enough to kill it with our axe get away spider get lost there we go. Mm hmm. And then let's grow the tree here. Let's place down a sapling. And then if you know Minecraft for a little while, you should know that this trick will make the tree big in 99.99% .99 of the times. Just put some stone next to it and then it'll create a giant tree. Let's remove it. Uh, and see what we got. I don't think it turned out the way I wanted it to. Mm. No, that's actually okay. I would like to have some more leaves here. Maybe I'll add them additionally. But that looks nice. We also got some grass. Uh, removed some of the flowers that the grass spawned when I placed it. And so it looks nice. I'm happy with it. Let's kill this guy as well. Oh, what am I doing? No. Get, oh, what am I doing? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. What was I doing? I was trying to drink something and then killing him, but that didn't work out too well. <laughs> oh. 
Luckily, it's not that far away. Like, only 20 meters. <laughs> not that far away, he says. It's only like a footprint away. A jump. Mm-hmm. Let's get this. Pro Shot, also another new player, uh -huh. gave me some armor, like a, an iron chest plate, so I'm thankful for that. But that's gonna be it for episode 1 of season 3. I think I'm gonna try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter so I don't waste as much of your as much of your time. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to go give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of these awesome videos. Check out the other channels that I'm not gonna link in the description. Instead, I'm gonna put the website down there so you can check it out and check out the players tab and then you can see everyone that's playing on the nation and you can apply as well. Write your own bio and you might be able to check out the server as well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.